Hey everyone, Travis here with Teleport. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up Teleport Community Edition, which is a free open source distribution of Teleport that anyone can download, install, and host on their own infrastructure. The code is licensed under AGPL3 and available on GitHub, and can be used commercially if your organization has fewer than 100 employees and less than 10 million in annual revenue. And I do wanna note, if you really don't want to self-host it or want to get hands-on right now to try it out, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial of Teleport Enterprise Cloud, or you can head over to our interactive labs page to learn and experiment. I'll post links to those below down in the description. Let's get started. Today I'll be working through this tutorial in our docs, link below to this as well. So first we have a few prerequisites. Number one, you'll need a Linux host with port 443 open to ingress traffic. You'll also need to be able to install and run software on the host, so SSH access to that Linux host as well. Second, you'll need a two-factor authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Authy. And third, you'll need a registered domain name. I have my two-factor app and I have a registered domain name. I just need to set up a Linux host. And for this demo, I'll just use an AWS EC2 instance, but it can be a digital ocean droplet, a server in your home lab, whatever. So I'll launch a new instance. I'll call it just teleport cluster. I'll choose Ubuntu. Uh, T2 micro is fine for this demo. Choose a key pair, choose my VPC with a public subnet and auto assign a public IP. And I have a security group I'm gonna choose. And my security group has an inbound to 443 and then 22 so I can SSH into it. And I'll launch the instance. So again, I just created my Linux host with port 443 open to ingress traffic. I have a two-factor authenticator app and I have a registered domain name. Time to move on to step one. Step one, you'll need to configure your DNS. So Teleport uses TLS to provide secure access to the cluster's proxy and auth services. And this requires a domain name that clients can use to verify Teleport certificate. So wherever your domain is managed, go there and we'll create two A records. The first one is for your domain, which for my demo here is a domain hosted on AWS called teleportdemo.net. I'll create an A record and point it to the IP address of my Linux host. That's where my teleport cluster will live, at travis.teleportdemo.net. The second A record is a wildcard that Teleport can use to issue subdomains for each of your applications. So I'll put star.travis.teleportdemo.net. Step two, let's set up Teleport on our Linux host. So I'll SSH in and install Teleport with this one-liner. And we see here that Teleport has been installed successfully. Now we'll configure it with the Teleport configure command. This will generate the configuration file at slash etsy slash teleport.yaml, which you can further configure later as needed. And it will complete the Let's Encrypt verification process once we start Teleport. So I'll add my email and my cluster name, which should be the domain you set in your A record for me, travis.teleportdemo.net, and run the command on your Linux host. And again, you'll see your configuration at slash etsy slash teleport.yaml. Finally, let's start up the teleport service. And let's confirm that it's running. And now we can visit the teleport cluster at our domain. So let's create our first user so that we can log in. And for that, we'll use the tcuddle CLI, which is Teleport's administrative CLI. Let's jump back into the SSH session we have with our Linux host and run this command, which will create a user named Teleport Admin with the editor and access roles. Both are default roles in Teleport and a few different logins. We can actually get rid of this EC2 user because we're running Ubuntu. And that command generates a link we can visit to create our password. Then we'll set up multi-factor authentication. And there's our Teleport Cluster Community Edition up and running. And you'll see off the bat that your Teleport Cluster Linux server is enrolled and you can securely SSH into it from here. And everything is being audited from me logging in and a 12-hour certificate being issued with my logins and roles, as well as a recording of my SSH session. Now to enroll more resources such as servers, Kubernetes clusters, applications, databases, or desktops, go to add new resource and find the resource you want to enroll in the list. 
and I'll add some further links down in the description as well. And with the Community Edition, you'll see a limited set of features for three of the four main Teleport products. You have Zero Trust Access, which is the mechanics of this cluster, user and role management, auth connectors, things like that. You have a machine and workload identity, which is enabling machines such as CI-CD workflows to securely authenticate with your Teleport cluster. So remember, machines need an identity too. Identity governance, which are tools for hardening and monitoring human and non-human identities like time-based access requests, session locking, trusted devices, and then identity security, which isn't available in the community edition, but gives you tools to detect blind spots like standing privileges and insecure SSH key distributions. Feel free to leave a comment below or jump into our community Slack with questions. Thanks for watching.